what will be the initial rate of reaction if the rate constant is 10 to the power minus 3 per minute and concentration is 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. Here, we have to know as to what the order of the reaction is. One of the ways of knowing the order of the reaction is by checking into the unit of the rate constant. The rate constant unit here is per minute. And for a first order reaction, the unit is per minute. How do we get to know the unit of a reaction of a particular order? Here, you should note that rate is equal to small k into concentration of a to the power n. k is the rate constant, a is the concentration, n is order of the reaction. The unit of rate of the reaction is mole per dm cube per time. This time could be either in seconds, minutes or hours depending on how slow or how fast the reaction is. Now, this is equal to K into unit of concentration is mole per dm cube to the power n. So, the unit of K will be mole per dm cube to the power 1 minus n per time. Now, coming to the zero order reaction n value is 0. And when n value is 0, the unit of k will be mole per dm cube per time, which is the same as that of the rate of the reaction. In the case of a first order reaction, the value of n is 1. When n is 1, k will be equal to mole per dm cube to the power of 1 minus 1, that is 1 by time. In other words, the unit of first order reaction is time to the power minus 1. After having known as to what the order of the reaction is, we again go back to the equation rate is equal to k into concentration of a to the power 1. In this problem, we have to find out the rate of the reaction given the value of k which is 10 power minus 3. And you are also given the concentration as 0.2. Therefore, the rate of the reaction value will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. Hence, the right option is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter per second. Coming to the next question, consider the following reaction profile for the reaction A giving B, the activation energy is. Here we have the energy profile diagram. We call this as energy profile diagram because we have plotted energy against progress of the reaction or time. And as the reaction proceeds, that is when reactants change into products, the energy level keeps changing. This diagram indicates the energy level of the reactant and product molecules at different intervals of time and therefore it is called the energy profile diagram. Here, this level indicates the energy of the normal reactant molecules. If the reactant molecules are to change into products, that is B, then the reactant molecules have to collide and on collision, they have to form a high energy unstable complex called the activated complex which then loses energy to give the products. The difference in energy between the normal reactant molecules and that of the activated complex is called activation energy. In this case, it is C and therefore, the right answer is C. If the reaction was B giving A, 
that is the reverse of the reaction b becomes the reactant a becomes the product then the activation energy for the reaction b giving a would be b the difference in energies between th that for the forward reaction and that for the backward reaction that is the difference between c and b that is a gives a measure of whether energy is being liberated or absorbed in other words it indicates whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic.